Hey, hey, everybody. Chris from Divine Key with your Workout Wednesday. Here we are again for Workout Wednesday at the Divine Key Spiritual Gym. Welcome, everyone. Um, if you find value in this video, please like and subscribe. Check me out on YouTube. Just uh, search for Divine Key. And uh, I have the same videos posted over there. I'm doing them live on Facebook for now, but I will probably be transitioning to YouTube or another platform. So just a heads up if you're interested in this. Um, and the more subscribers I have over on YouTube, the better. So uh, welcome, everybody. I'm happy to see you. And today's uh, subject for um, Workout Wednesdays is kind of interesting. Um, a heads up quick before I get into that, because it's not quite 10 o'clock. I like to wait till 10 o'clock to start these, but um, a quick astrological note is we're hitting the full moon today, and it's a full moon in Capricorn, which is an earth sign, so um, there's going to be um, a sense of weightiness to the day, um, connected to earth and groundedness, so that can be good if you've been feeling a little flighty. It will help ground you um, throughout the day today. And full moons are really good for um, gratitude, expressing gratitude. It's the fullness of what you've been working toward. So uh, go ahead and do that for the full moon. And uh, some people like to set intentions at the full moon. Um, I prefer to do my intention setting at the new moon so it can build up to the full moon. And then I give gratitude for what um, has come to fruition from the time that I set the intention. So. Um, Looks like we're at the hour, um, at 10 o'clock, and uh, welcome, Workout Wednesdays. I'm going to try to keep keep this up, so uh, hopefully I'll see you week to week. Invite your friends. If not, catch me on a hashtag replay and uh, let me know. Uh, comment below if you have any questions or if there's a topic you want to explore. But today, today we're talking about space, the final frontier. Okay, flashback to Star Trek. You youngins won't maybe know what that is, but uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so when we talk about space, um, space in your life is really kind of important. And we don't often think about that. We don't think about where the space is in our life. We are often looking at filling, um, acquiring things. You know, we're working toward goals. We're working toward um making enough money to buy a house or to buy a car or to get things and um, often we in our society here in the u.s especially really drives us toward um, wanting things you know surrounding us the more things we have around us we feel like we've accomplished that something in our life so it's really important to consider and become aware of where the spaces are in your life so before I get into talking about it, I want to show you a quick example of uh, what having space in your life might look like. So if you're just joining us, excuse me, if you're just joining us, welcome to Workout Wednesdays on Divine Key Spiritual Gym. And we're talking about space. So here's an example um, of what something might look like without space. So hopefully you can see this. I don't know if it's backwards with Facebook, but um, I'm doing it anyway this way, and we'll figure out later what it looks like. But can you read that? Does that make sense to you? I'll give you a minute to take a look at it. So that is a paragraph without space. It, which is easier to read, that one or this one? The paragraph that has space. And as you can see, it's not a lot of space. It's just a few spaces that come in. But which one is easier? Which one's easier to receive? See, that's the question. When you make space, it makes it easier to receive what you're seeking. Um, we often feel like we have to go out and grab it. Like we have to take it and we have to um, create a, a way to go and get it. But sometimes, sometimes what we want or need comes in because we create a space for it to arrive. So once again, here's an example. That's without space. Can you receive the information 
from this paragraph, or this is the one with space. Again, which one is easier to receive? So um, be aware. I mean, this whole workout Wednesday today is be aware of where there is space in your life and how you're receiving things. So if you're looking to receive something, you've been working toward it and you're like, I'm doing all the things, I'm doing all the right things. Why can I not get this thing that I'm trying to receive? Um, look and see where you can create a space for it. Have you made room for it? Oh, I don't have the thing that I, um, I do every month because I have it at home, but I create this uh, diagram every month for my business where I put blank lines. I put a heading in, so like it would be divine key for my business, and then um, I put a bunch of blank lines underneath that so I can receive the clients that want to fill those slots for me. Or um, if you want to take post-it notes, you can put post-it notes up on a specific area where you, you want to be reminded of the people that you're doing work for and um, put blank ones up there so that when people do become a client, you can put their name on it and remind you that you're working for them, but also it creates that space. It's all about creating that space to allow room for what you want to come in. Um, as you can tell, I don't often script these, so <laughs> I don't always have the things here to show you what I want to show you. But um, along with creating the space, um, I challenge you, or I encourage you, to see where you can bring space into your life. And, and when you have a sense of over overwhelm, and in today's world, we can become overwhelmed very easily because you know, we are constantly connected. Right now you're connected to me, you're receiving information, and, and sometimes that can be overloading and it can be overwhelming. Um, there's always a lot of hands on our time trying to get us um, because they need this or that, or if you have family or you're a caregiver, there's so many ways. Um, even just like, you know, watching TV because um, it's on demand. So like you can binge watch and that can become overwhelming because it's continuous and it's always there waiting for you to, to um, use it. So look around and see where maybe you're feeling overwhelmed with something and where can you create space in that moment? Um, take a moment to clear your desk off or clear a counter off or empty your purse out if you're a woman or um, take the change out of your pocket. Um, it can be other things too. You can create space in your life by um, meditation. Take five to 10 minutes and just do nothing. Yes, it's okay. You have my permission. You have my permission to take five minutes out of your life and do nothing and allow the space and see what happens because see, we're so trained to fill those empty spaces, the silences, that our um, mind wants to jump in and fill that. So it is a practice because the first time you try to sit down and meditate for five minutes, it may even seem more overwhelming because um, you might feel like you're failing. By the way, you're not failing. This is a practice. But your mind might be going 100 miles an hour and it may not understand how to just allow the space to be. So I encourage you to sit for five minutes, 10 minutes. I usually do 10 minutes these days um, as a daily practice to remind me to leave space. I do it first thing in the morning um, because that works best for me, but maybe it'll work for you in the evening or in the moment of overwhelm. If you can do that, it might be helpful to just sit and allow yourself to be, create a space, Imagine a space around you. Imagine space in your mind. Imagine space in your heart. Imagine an area that is open and free and has nothing clinging to it. Um, that space is pretty important. You can do that. You can go outside if you're able to take a walk. Um, looking at the sky for me has that effect as well um, to remind me of the openness, the wide expanses of the sky. Um, cloud watching and just seeing things come um, into my vision and out again when I'm looking at the sky is a sense of space to me 
And in the evenings, of course, you can go out and, you know, you can see the stars. And if you're at a place where you're fortunate enough for it to be dark enough, you can see the galaxy, um, the space there. You can find space in anything if you just allow it to occur for you. Um, so another example that came to mind when I was thinking of this is you kind of need the space to create the spark. So if you're thinking about a combustion engine, you have um, the spark plug and you have gasoline, but you also need space. You need an area that has oxygen for the gasoline and the spark to combine to create the power for the engine. Without those three elements, your engine will not work. So if you were to try to create power from a spark plug and a fuel in a vacuum, it would not work because the spark, first of all, you wouldn't even get a spark. And then if you did happen to create the spark and then create the vacuum, it would not be able to interact with the fuel to create the power. So it needs that space. It needs the area around it to be able to um, create the power in your life. So it's not wasting time and it's not um, being lazy um, and it's not being selfish either. All these things that we tell ourselves and go back and watch my what story you're telling yourself uh, workout Wednesday because this ties into it. Um, tell yourself the story that I, I require space to have the power to create in this world to be able to uh, accomplish all those things that I want and to do better for others. You know, give yourself the space and then you'll have the ability to do better for others as well. So even um, when we talk about space, we're talking about space, external space, like area around you, clutter feels very constricting. So create one area in your house, one. Just pick one area that you keep clutter free. And when you feel overwhelmed, go sit in that area. Like literally take a chair somewhere in your house or a couch or whatever and create an open area around it. Now mine is in my living room and it allows me to look out the windows at the sky, which is helps me in, in two ways, right? Because I have the space and then I can look out and see the sky, which makes me feel very much more open and free. So this week, that is, that is the spiritual muscle we're exercising. Where is the space in our life? And how can we create space? And when we do, take note of how much the information is easier to receive. Whatever information is coming in, whether it be a meditation or typing, tapping into a psychic um, power or communing with your spirit, um, however it is, what does that feel like in a cluttered area with a cluttered mind or in an area that has space to be able to receive what's coming in? So I want to do this one more time before I sign off um, for this session of the Workout Wednesday. The example, because I just really like it, um, to show you what it looks like when there is no space and something simple like a paragraph, how hard it is to receive that information, to sort through it, to figure out what is trying to be said to you, and then when there are spaces, how much easier it is to receive that information. So I hope you are well. Thank you for joining me. It's always great to see you here. And I hope to see you next Wednesday for Workout Wednesday. And uh, be well. Bye.